All right, hey, what's up, YouTube? Crazy One JP here with another informative video. Hello, I'm shooting this from my new desktop. Well, it's not exactly new; it's new to me, and it works. And uh, this is for you people out there that are hosting servers off of, your, say, your home connection, or in my case, a server line <laughs> running from home, because you know you're too cheap to go pay some other company to do it. You can do it yourself. Uh, and in my case, I have two servers. Neither one of them I have installed in an, an antivirus on. Go ahead, attack it. I don't give a shit. Just uh, don't delete the files that I need. You'll know if you're in my shit which files I need. Um, but uh, enough said about that. I have a server that is originally just a basic desktop computer, and without an anti and it's well. By today's standards, it is outdated and too slow to even run most stuff. Uh, it's currently running Windows Server or Windows XP. I don't even remember. But moral of the story is here, I don't have an antivirus on it, and I need a way to keep up on scanning it. Well, I recently switched to Avast about a couple months ago. I have never really bothered to scan my server, but it's been acting up the past few days and giving me an error that I've never seen before and could not find anywhere on Google. Apparently, there was a virus on there that I didn't realize. And uh, I had to figure out how to make my Avast on my desktop here scan it because it would have taken 10 times longer for the computer itself to scan it versus my desktop to scan it remotely which seeing as it's on the same network it's not that far of a stretch so I'm gonna walk you guys how to walk you guys through how to scan a network drive So the first thing you need is obviously a network drive or in my case I have the entire hard drives shared to the network and you have to be fully shared you have to be able to go into like everything like document settings and fo folders and all mine currently the that folder is unaccessible, but that doesn't matter because it's on a drive that doesn't get used. My servers are set up to where they're protected against most basic attacks that go after the primary C drive because I use a D drive. So in the event of here, it's all accessible. There's nothing really of any importance on the server other than in what it's actually being used as a server for. So to scan it, you have to find first which drive you want scanned. In this case, I needed to scan both the C and the D because I use both of them. Um, insert random pun here about the D drive. Uh, you have to figure out which one you want to scan. So here I have this. You just want to copy it and save that for later. Now in Avast, I normally it has this select folder to scan. But in my case, when you go to settings to set it, you can't add a scanned area. I'm assuming that's because it's a pro feature that you need to buy the full one. So a workaround I found was click on the removable media scan, click that, click settings, and then just delete the removable thing and add in the drives you want scanned. In my case it's the HP whatever you want to call it, the name of my server and then the C drive and the D drive. Now remember you have to have them shared. If they're not shared this isn't going to work. And after you place them in, you just click OK and you click scan and let it go and do its thing. Easiest way to scan a slower computer with a fast computer over a network. Because over my network I get, I think it's like a 50 meg, megabyte per second transfer rate. So it's just like running it on the computer itself or if I had the hard drive plugged into my computer. So there you go. And if you have any questions, you can post it in the comments below or message me directly. Uh, I haven't been able to post any more videos recently because I've been haven't really been doing anything. Been just kind of living life, not bothering with fixing anything or doing anything. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for future videos, you can post those in the comments below and everything else. But for now, that's Crazy One JP, and uh, I'm out because it's five o'clock in the morning and I want to go to bed.